So as you can see, the thermostat does not match. 65 here, 72 here. Okay, so I bought a new thermostat. Put the batteries in it like an hour ago. And there you go. Here we where are you. There you are, 73. Matches the one on the bottom. 72.7 .7 and 73. And this one says 65. Putting new batteries in it didn't help. So, time to change the thermostat. Let's remove this one. Remove the top cover. Oh, before you do anything, make sure you turn the circuit breaker off to your furnace. Especially if your thermostat is powered, AC powered. If not, you got battery power here. But still a good idea to turn the furnace uh, circuit breaker off so that you don't shear any of these wires out. What we're going to do is remove a couple of these screws to get them off the wall. I should only get a couple of screws in there. Let's see, where is it? There's one that's loose. And here's the other one that's loose. Alright, so now we're going to loose. We're okay. We're going to pull the battery out just to kill the power of the whole unit. Now this just kills power to the thermostat, not your furnace. Turn the circuit breaker off in the furnace. And your new thermostat comes with these labels, so you can label your wires. So we're going to gently pull this away. We're going to hook up the same way it was before. We have this red wire, it goes to RC. So I'm going to take that red wire off and label it RC. screw it up breaking it off there we go okay red wire is RC got to put a label on there it's a good idea also to take a picture before you do all this stuff okay that's RC we can pull that away and the white one over here that's connected with the red is W so we take the white one off mark it W I wrap these around really well. Okay, that one's W. That's W. Okay, so that's that. What else we got here? Okay, that's it for those. Now we got another set of wires here. We got another red one, and that's an, on G. And of course, your new thermostat should also have all these connections. Make sure you get the right thermostat for your system. So that red wire is marked G. So we'll take that off and mark that G. G wire. And the last white one is marked Y. Take that off. And mark it Y. I don't know because let's see, find the Y. There's the Y. Come on, Y. Label doesn't want to come off. Cut too deep into the paper. There we go. Mark that wire Y. <laughs> now we got everything loose, appears to be. There's a jumper between RH and RC. We're going to leave that. We're going to take the rest of the screws off. So we can remove this thermostat from the wall and put the new one on. Now we 
can feed those wires through there so we don't lose the labels. A lot of wire. Old insulation too. Hook there, hook here. All right, there you go. How oh, they're off. Thermostat free. So now we take our new base plate, or whatever you want to call it, and we see we had a round thermostat here before, and then we had a rectangular one, and now we're going to this one, so that means new holes. You don't need this little white thing, that was just for, you know, in case you're shoplifting, you can take that off. That's just for the store security. We don't need that anymore. Gonna run our wire through here, as you noticed. Before I do that, RC and RH have a jumper, just like they did on the old one. RC, RH. Okay. So we're going to run our wires through here. We're not going to attach them yet. First, we got to center this up and try to cover up every hole we can with the new thermostat, if possible. See, I can cover that one up on the top right there, but I can't quite cover up this one, but that's okay. I'll just keep it like this. It'll be fine. I'll just leave that little wall thing in there. Uh, a good thing would be to make sure it's level, but you do have a little play here, up and down, to make it level. The new thermostat comes with these things. Okay? So, you get everything you need, except for the wire, of course. I have a very special way of making holes in the wall. So it comes with uh, two little inserts in the wall, and two corresponding screws, and extra jumper wire for heat pumps only. You don't need this, throw it away. Alright, now we mark our holes very carefully. I'll show you just a minute. We don't want to damage this drywall. Very carefully mark your holes. I'm just going to eyeball this. Up there, down here. That's kind of like not very flat. I guess that's in the way. Drywall, so I'll just move it up a little bit. Move it up, move it down, put it where you like it. Mark your hole. So I got right in the center there. That's where one hole is going to be. And I can go get a little level. I think I might. Alright, so I'm back at my little level. I'm going to find that hole there. Put the level on there. And there we go. Match that one up again. Level's got to follow. There we go. That's close. I'll put it down here. This seemed to have a hole over there at one point. So I'll put it down here. Alright, I've got my two holes marked. Now you're going to want to poke holes in here. You can put these little nylon things in there. Now watch carefully. This is how I do it. No damage to the wall whatsoever. That's where I want it. That's where it goes. I don't want to pop the whole section off the back. I just want to go a little bit at a time. There we go. There's one. It's important you got to match the screwdriver the shaft size to that. Okay, the other one is right below where that last one was. Pop it in, twist it, pop it in some more, twist it. There we go. Pop through. There's where my other insert. There it is. So there we go. That's in there. Use my hammer. There we go. Perfect. Put this back on. Clean off your tip. Always have clean tips. Start that one a little bit by hand. Start this one a little bit by hand. And drive her home. Now you don't 
don't want to crank it down all the way. You want to just get snug. You can still move it a bit. Yeah, that's too much. Back that off a little bit. There we go. Get your leather back out. And see what you can do to make it straight. It's not important. Aesthetically it is, but for the thermostat to work, it's not important. You can mount it upside down. These are new digital thermostats. They don't care. They don't need like a little bubble that goes up and down, a little mercury switch. They don't have that. All right, that's secure. Look at our wires. See will this screwdriver work? Oh, of course not. Gotta get smaller. Let's see if I got one around here. Looks like a number one will work. Yeah, it will. All right. Now, before they went around the screws, now they're going to go straight in. So we got to straighten these things out. And they're probably way too long for what they got to be. Way too long. Much, much too long. I've got to cut them back. We got to come back even. We don't want to be pulling on one more than the other. So this one looks like it can get cut right about here. Cut. Come on, cheap pliers. Okay. Those two are cut. Gotta cut these about even. They don't have to go very deep. Now we've got them labeled, which will help us put them back in the same spot. So I'm looking for a C. Anybody got a C? C. Come on up. C. C. We don't have a C? No C. How about a W1? No, we don't have a W1. How about an A? Nope. Let's start on this side. It's easier. There's a G. I see a G and a Y. Let's do that. Let's put the G into the G slot and the Y into the Y slot. Make sure that the little screws are backed out. Put the G in here. Hopefully you can see that. All right, put the G in there and tighten it up. Give it a little tug. That's it. Now we put the Y in here. There we go. Tighten that up. Give it a little tug. Nothing spectacular. You don't have to really manhandle it. They're very easy. Very easy. Make sure these things are out of the way of the batteries because the batteries go right up here. And make sure you have no loose wires sticking out because electronics in the back. I'll show you. Now we have an RC and a W. So the RC goes right along with that black jumper. Got to back that screw off. Back them both off. See if I can push that jumper down a little bit more. Doesn't look like it. That's how long it is. So Tighten up the RH again. And RC goes right in here. Twist it around, twist it around. RC, where are you, RC? Stick that in there with that one. Now we got for a little bit more so it goes in a bit deeper. That's probably deep enough. There you go. Give it a little tug. And the last one we have is a W. W goes, I don't know where it goes, so W1, W2. This is where reading the instructions probably could help. I have to read the instructions. I hate doing that. W1, W2, oh, that's for one or two stage heater. So according to this, if you only have a one stage heater and one stage cooling, you just go to W1. That's all I got. So I just go to W1. Simple. Let's just go W1 then. W is W1. Screw backed out. Yeah. Got a little bent end over here that won't go in, so I gotta flatten it out, straighten it out, flatten it out. Solid wire. Not stranded. Here we go. Put that in there, tighten it up. Let's see, tuck those wires into the hole. Nice and flush. Make sure they're all tight. That one. 
for now on this particular unit. This is backwards. These pins here, as you see, right there. Those are the ones that plug into the bottom here. So you got to be careful with those. Got batteries in there. I set all my switches according to the instructions, which are also here on the back in case you lose your instructions. Up for gas, down for electric on this switch here. All right. And so system off. So I'm going to just plug this in straight on. I should feel the snap. There we go. Check the level. Close enough. That's good. Now that we got this buttoned up, all right, now I'm going to go turn the furnace back on, the circuit breaker to the furnace. And we should be able to hear the fan and everything turn on. Let's try it out. So now that the circuit breaker is back on, I can turn the fan on. And we should hear the fan turn on. And yes, the fan did turn on. Don't know if you heard it, but I did. Now I'll turn the fan off. Now I pre-programmed this on the side instead of over here. And since it's on 75 degrees, turn the heat up. It says 67. And right now, if you want to change this, you press over here on the side, and now you can set your heat to 70. I think 68, 67 is good. Okay? And you walk away, you're done. Or you can hit next. I don't know what that does. I guess that sets it. It's in heat mode right now. Okay? So, we go down to off. I like this because it's got a mechanical off switch, a hardwired switch instead of a touch screen or just automatic. Let me go to cool. Well, there we go. Now it's in cool mode. It takes a while. So, I want to cool down to 78. I'm already at 75. So I guess we won't know until we go lower. There we go, we'll go to 74. Next. And the AC turned on. I'm sure you heard the little click of the little relay on there. It's going to cool us down to 74 and turn off. So it says 75, but we're at 73. It's getting there. As long as you take your time, you can install thermostat. Get this back off. There's like a little lip back here, and there's lips on the side here. What you do is just put your thumb on here and your forefinger on here, and you just push. Push really hard. There we go. And it comes off. I have disconnected again. Make sure you don't bend these pins, because then they won't fit in there and they won't work. Okay. Line it back up kind of straight. Feel the pins go into the socket and push it on. There we go. Good to go. I don't know, it looks crooked to me, but I'm standing off to the side. Level says all right. So it must be good.